Now joining us via phone is public affairs analyst Najib Bello. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. How do you interpret this action of our lawmakers? Is it a rush? Is it expedient? Well, I, I think this is a season when we have to take things uh, by the horn. We, it's not time to waste. There's no time to waste because of the things going on. The economy is going down, and um, you can see the issues with the pandemic. So whatever they need the funds for, we, we don't want a situation where there will be blame throwing, and the presidency will say, oh, it's because of the Senate they weren't able to do this or do that. So I think it's right for the Senate at this point in time to approve that loan as soon as possible, and I'm glad they did it. Should we expect that other items before the Senate will begin to get this level of attention before we talk about all the other matters associated with it? It depends on the issues that are brought forward. Right now, the economy and the health sector are of priority. The economy, especially the agricultural sector, you know, so anything around that area, Anything around the economy, anything around agri, anything around the health sector, and of course security, I expect them to be passed expediently. But not that everything brought forward at this point in time should just be immediately passed. Okay, um, we understand that the loan request is expected uh, to be from the domestic capital market to fund projects uh, in the 2020 yes. budget. Um, does this work for you? Uh, yes, I, I believe originally the government had already planned this. And with the way the economy is structured right now, of course, recently, um, just yesterday, I believe, um, the IMF also ap approved some other loan, you know. But as it was planned, they, they looked at the situation around the world and felt going to seek this other loan for infrastructure right now from outside the economy may be difficult. So that, that I believe, is why they, they thought to seek it domestically. Um, if we add this request to that of the emergency uh, funding from IMF uh, to the tune of $3.4 billion, what do you say yes. we have adequate funds or will we be needing even more funds uh, during this pandemic? Yeah, you see, the, the way the pandemic is going, no one really knows how bad it will be. So it's best for everybody to be prepared at this point in time. Stock up on as much funding as you think you could possibly need if things really go bad. Now, if things don't go bad, it's all good for us. We could use the funds for something else or perhaps a refund, I don't know. But for now, it's important we have as much funding as possible. Uh, I'm talking about that same IMF fund. We know that there is um, a, um, a repayment uh, schedule of five years. The unpredictability yes. of the pandemic makes it worrying for a lot of persons for us to be in debt when we do not know um, the total effect that this will have on the economy even after COVID-19. Yes, of course. We, we can't predict for now. You, you understand? But we may have to take some more loans, depending on how things go. I don't want to be like a purveyor of bad news. But depending on how things go, we may have to get more loans. But then again, it's if we survive this and how, how well we survive this that will determine our repayment and other things. So we have to ensure that we do everything possible, you know, to survive this. If we survive this, then we can, you know, have a, a restructure of the loan. If things were really bad, we can restructure the loan. If things weren't so bad, then we can start paying as soon as possible. But then I, I don't have a problem with the loan right now, with any of the loans right now, because there is a global crisis. All right, Najib, thank you very much for joining us on the news and stay You're safe. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me.